at what point will people wake up and realize that the information they've been fed their whole lives in regards to diet and nutrition is completely wrong? Is it the second or third miscarriage, yet a mother still follows the wisdom and guidance of her doctor? When just dozens of years ago, mothers were popping out 10, 15 kids like it was nothing? Is it that everyone watching this video has likely been personally affected by someone with degenerative disease? Is it autism rates skyrocketing? Babies dying of cancer? Apparently, none of this is enough. So I'm led to believe that we're never going to realize the importance of the nutrient qualities of animal foods and how plant foods were really only ever eaten out of necessity. If you put any wild animal or plant food in front of a baby, they will always choose the animal food first. People listen to the USDA Dietary Guidelines, the government, on health and nutrition, and look where that has gotten us. We are the unhealthiest country in the world. And now with this meat tax, all this vegan propaganda, people are looking at it like the next best thing. And it's really unfortunate. We're going to take a look at Freely, the banana girl, and see how she justifies losing her period on a vegan diet. This really goes to show you that people will justify anything in the name of their beliefs. Even if it's as simple, as black and white as nature telling you, there's not enough nutrition in your environment to sustain a child. Hi girl here, welcome to another episode. So today's topic is menstruation, monthlies, period, whatever you like to call it. So I think I have a lot of experience on this because I've had my period on a sad diet, on a raw vegan diet, on a vegan diet, and I also lost my period on a raw vegan diet. So when I first came to 100% raw food diet, raw vegan diet, that was back in 2007, January. And as soon as I came onto the lifestyle, like within the first month, I lost my period. It was gone. And I was like, yes, get out of here. I don't want to see you ever again. Don't come back now, you hear? <laughs> That's how I was because I was just so excited to get rid of it because I'm coming from this past of heavy period, pain, discomfort, depression associated with my menstrual flow because I'm eating animal products and I'm eating junk food and everything like that. So I was very, very happy. So the period went away for nine months and then I fell off the wagon. Fell off the wagon back into high fat vegan food and my period came back. So was it that that brought my period back? Well, it's hard to say because at the same time, I actually got with Harley Jurin Rider. And that can also affect your hormonal levels a lot. So I'm not 100% sure why it came back, but it came back and I went back onto 100% raw vegan and it came back lightly. So initially it was heavy from the high fat and then it went light. And light as in about half a cup of a menstrual cup of blood each day for a couple of days and then the third day was basically gone. So I was only having a period for like three days. If anyone knows what unit of measurement a menstrual cup is, feel free to let me know in the comments. And that's how it was for years and years and years. And it was great. I didn't know when it was coming because it was so, you know, painless when it was there. I hardly even knew I had it. It was fantastic. So rewind back to, you know, why I lost my period in the first place. I think because I was coming from taking a contraceptive pill for seven years every day for seven years so my hormonal levels were quite crazy so what I feel is that my period when I took out the meat and dairy and the junk food my body finally had the energy the vitality to start cleaning house to start balancing out my hormones and a lot of people are like oh but that's unhealthy no no you need your period what's going on you know that's terrible but is it well a lot of people don't know and all I can go on is my instincts and my feeling at the time that it felt good it felt hey you heard it here first guys losing your period on a vegan diet is detox and i'm not a destructive person at least i like to consider well i mean most of you guys probably think i'm a destructive person but i'm not uh you know i like to say that these vegans are misguided and they just need a little bit of information in regards to nutrient density of animal foods, looking at the other side of the coin. If that little bit of information is not enough, unfortunately, 
a lot of them are just so, they're just so, so close-minded, so arrogant, so in denial, so brainwashed that it doesn't really matter. Uh, you pretty much have to leave them to their own devices, let their health suffer, and hope that at one point in the next years or whatever that, you know, they kind of wake up, so to speak. And it's really unfortunate. And almost everyone experiences this in their life to some degree. You know, everyone makes mistakes when they're younger and realizes them when they're older. And the lack of open-mindedness, self-awareness, and objectiveness is something that everyone suffers from. There are many people that follow a carnivore diet. Many prominent people in the carnivore diet community that are very well known suffer from this. Almost every single professional in any field, regardless of how successful they are, suffers from some closed-mindedness, some sort of, you know, almost like in a pride sense. They don't really want to either explore new things or get rid of old information. I mean, the craziest thing to me is, you know, what does it take? You know, the, the reason I showed you this clip of her is to show you how unintelligent people can be and how impossible it is. It really is. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support me, please just subscribe and share the video. If you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, personal evaluations in regards to your complete diet and lifestyle in order to optimize your health through nutrient density, water, exercise, as well as sun exposure, you can reach out to me on the website below or email me frankatefano at gmail.com. All that information is in the description. Please let me know what videos you guys would like to see in the near future and I will be doing a live stream tomorrow so uh, you boys better free up your schedule because Frankie here is answering questions for free as usual every Saturday.